Hello everybody, welcome to a slightly unusual video for me. I don't normally do videos like this, but if you like it, we can do more. Um, long story short, you know the room attached to my bedroom, the dressing room, it's basically a bedroom that got converted into a dressing room before we moved in and I thought this is going to be amazing, I can't believe I've got a dressing room and then I never got to grips with it and it's been part dressing room, part baby room when Pearl was little. We've also had a bed in here that no one ever used that thought, Ugh. long story short, as you've seen over the years, it's just got messier and messier. I don't want to excite anybody, but I have tidied it up. Fully and totally tidied it up. Uh, I wanted to make it into a lovely, cosy craft room. It has got a little bit messy again, but not, not horrendous. So I thought that we could tidy it together, deep clean it. Something it hasn't had done for a while is a good clean because it was so messy, you couldn't get to anything. Um, I have already cleaned it, I'm filming this bit afterwards. Don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me for how grim some of it was. Uh, this is not like one of those cleaning videos where it's already clean and you don't see any dirt. Oh, you will see dirt. All right, less waffling from me. Let's get on with the voiceover. Ooh. Hello everyone, it's voiceover Louise. I'm using the inbuilt mic in my laptop because I'm in a hotel room at the moment. So apologies that this isn't the best audio, but if I do this again, we will, I'll use a mic and it'll be amazing. This is a before of the room, and as you can see, it's just become a bit of a dumping ground, but honestly, this is not the worst it's ever been. Uh, this feels very manageable. I think we can do this together, and I would love it if you paused this video and took the laptop or your phone over to somewhere where you could tackle a space as well. Like if you've got a drawer you need to sort, or a wardrobe that needs going through, let's just do a few minutes together. As you just saw, cracked open a Diet Coke, get my sweet, sweet nectar, and I'm just going to hang up all of these clothes. These are all clean, so I find it much easier to get a stack of hangers and just do it all there in one go, using the ironing board as like a bit of a countertop space. And then I take all the tops over to the left-hand side there, which is where I put my tops, and then like the back section, that's my dresses. And then that is all done, and I feel really smug that I've already tackled a big bit of it. After the clothes I put my bags away, that big bag there was my winter jumpers. I've had them in the spare room ready to go in the loft but I just don't think there's much space. The weather's been so weird. Uh, next up I'm taking all the things off the surfaces because I'm going to clean those. Oh that simply be bag, I'm thinking about doing an unboxing video, let me know if you'd like one. Um, because I wanted to dust the top of the um, what's that called? The wall and the ceiling. What do you call that? I don't know. Dust it because basically Aragog and his family have set up home there. I don't know if you can really see, maybe you just saw a bit then, but there were so many cobby webbies and just not today Satan, I don't want spiders dropping on me whilst I'm doing my crafting. Can you see any of it in there? Hello Aragog, sorry to destroy your home like that. Uh, next up I decided to do some wiping. Um, you may notice that these are bathroom wipes but it took me a long time into this video to notice that myself. Here I am struggling just to get a little wipe out and I'm going to give these desks a good clean. Uh, these came from my office um, when I had an office out of town. I don't now. Um, but I brought those home and I wanted to reuse them and they haven't been cleaned for a long time so they were good and ready for a wipe and then I thought I'd show you all the dirt look at it now this has not been cleaned in such a long time because it always got so much stuff on it this is the problem if you're messy you can't clean things so I'm resolving to change that about myself and be a lot tidier this is going to be a satisfying wipe shot oh yeah what has happened to us that that's what we're choosing to watch on the internet is people's dirty wipes I put the things back on my desk and tackled the other side in the windowsill. I will just say I don't tend to use wipes very often. Um, I'm a microfiber cloth kind of gal. I really like the method spray in wild rhubarb. I've loved it for years. You'll have seen me use it before. Um, but because I had those, I thought, yeah, perfect. I'll get these used up. Um, they were really good at doing the job. Look at that windowsill. And sorry if you are a fan of moths there. Um, cleaned the moth up. And then I, this is where I noticed. I was like, oh, <laughs> these are bathroom cleaners. What is the difference? Does anybody actually know what is the difference between bathroom cleaners and... Um, like rest of the house cleaners. They did a good job. Look at that. Don't judge me. Um, they did a good job, but I will say they smelt very strong and I had to open all the windows and put a little fan on. And I just thought if you're using those in the bathroom with probably a smaller window, that's quite 
a strong smell. Uh, the desk, the other desk, that was okay and I wanted to show you that that one wasn't too bad. Uh, that's the one I've been using a bit um, over the last few days. But the windowsill, pretty yuck, so I'm glad that I got that all sorted. Next up, I moved everything off there, did the same thing, gave that a little wipe. We've had this unit for so long. Honestly, IKEA furniture, it stays the test of time for them, it doesn't it? Uh, now Pearly came in and she wanted to help with the hoover, so I took like the long nozzle bit off and made it small for her, um, and she just thought that was a great game. And I was like, yes, babe, carry on doing that. You play a game, but actually, that is very helpful to me. <laughs> I moved some rubbish out, and then I've got my big rug. I bought this off Amazon. Um, I just wanted something to like make the room feel like a room and feel cosy so we rolled this out I did have to put a few like weights on the corners to unfurl it and then I unbox this can you guess what it's going to be if you can guess what it's going to be and you haven't seen it on any of the social media uh, 99 glitter points to you so did you guess it's a tree I have seen these on people's interiors and I just think they look stunning but I'm not sure about how it looked for us. Um, in the bottom of that pot there is moss, like fake moss. It's not a real tree, by the way. And the little silica bags, they just looked really gross. I was a bit alarmed by those. Is that something I should be worrying about, or is that just really good moss that has kind of attached to it? I set up the tree and just really wasn't sure about it. I'd love your honest opinions. I want it to look good, but does it just look a bit try-hard? You tell me. Um, after I'd set that up, I looked at it for a while thinking, oh, I'm not sure, I found my neon light that I had in my old office. By the way, I will link everything below um, if you are interested in it. Um, but this neon light, and I was so excited, but I realised I did not have the adapter. Uh, and that made me really sad. Managed to hook it up anyway, and let's see what happens next. I have good news and good news. Uh, the first good news is I found, I found the uh, like plug socket, not adapter, but like connector for the neon light. I am so pleased. And the other good news is I've plugged it in. I've plugged everything. I've done the fairy lights. I've put the lamp on. I've set it all up and I'm going to show you the finished room. I am so happy with it. So let's do a final little tour. Welcome to my new cosy corner craft room. I am so happy with this space. I really love that the lights just fit so perfectly there. Um, I'm so glad that I repurposed this glossy box container. This was an advent calendar from a couple of years ago and I have been saving it wondering what to do with it. In here I am keeping my beading supplies, like the things I need to make the beaded things with and then I've got some beads up here and then also I have this like it's like a rolodex that's what that reminds me of the flippy feeling we can flick through I love that and I'm gonna be doing some beading with that later on here is where I keep my notepads and this I'm so excited for this is diamond art diamond drawing I'm so excited maybe I should do a video on this I'd love to know your thoughts on the tree. I'm not sure that this is like the right pot for it. Um, I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. I think if you look at it from like a distance, it's okay. Oh, you, you want to rip up that. That's nice. Lovely. Thanks for that. Um, this is all nice and clean. I can't believe how grubby this was. Don't judge me. Um, but I put some of my books back up here um, that I am enjoying. Oh, look at it from this way. I have the nicest view. I really, really love sitting here because I feel a bit like I'm in a tree house because I have all these like lovely greenery uh, vibes over here. This is the only bit that I don't really know what to do with. I think this is a whole nother little mini project to work on. Um, we need to have the ironing board and the iron somewhere. Um, so at the moment it goes there because it's the highest point in the room and the children can't reach it. They don't really come in here anyway, but that seems to be where we put it. And then, <laughs> these little bits and pieces and just didn't have a home so for now this is what it is there's no um plug socket behind here the nearest one is here and we can't plug something in obviously because it will get in the way so we can't have a lamp here we can't have any sort of lighting here the only thing I can think of is like to have some big frames uh, or like a picture or something as you can see the previous owners did have something hung up they had a big mirror here I don't know if you remember from um when I first moved in but yeah that's okay, that's not too much of a bother because this is so nice. I also really, really like this rug. 
I think that works really nicely. I'm not sure whether to keep it there or whether to move it a bit closer. I don't really know. What are your thoughts on the rug, the tree, and what I should do just here? I'm looking forward to your suggestions and comments. You always have the best ideas. Right, I shall wrap it up here. If you like this kind of video, let me know because I can do more of these. Uh, yeah, leave a friendly comment. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.